my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me Hey, what's up guys, Indian Sensei here, welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. Today I'm gonna explain you how to use your shinobis in all out missions so that you can get the best possible rank in the mission. First of all, if you don't have uh, good power shinobis, then you won't be able to get a triple S or double S rank in all out mission. Uh, every all out mission features two types of boosted units. This time it's uh, defense and utility, that is yellow and purple units. Basically, shinobis like Naru Kage, Shadow Sasuke, Jiraiya, Gara, Ashirama. Madara, Naruto Light, Sasuke Wandering, KLM Minato etc. So you need to have at least 3 to 4 good powered boosted units for each color to get the best rank. Now as it is mentioned in the info section of all out missions, if you use say 5 shinobis in stage 1, you won't be able to use them until you clear stage 2 with different shinobis. Now since stage 1 and stage 2 both feature yellow boosted units, so if you use any 5 shinobis in stage 1, you won't be able to use them again in stage 2. But the shinobis which you use in stage 1 will be available to use in stage 5 which is hard and uh, it is also featuring yellow units so you have to play this mission smartly so that your units are not restricted when you need them the most stage 1 to 4 are very easy i mean uh, they are not that tough and don't require you to use the best shinobis so if you use older or less powerful units like EMS Sasuke, Tobi Rama, Boruto Warrior, Asuma, Kesame etc for these stages, you can easily clear it. Now the most important tip in all out mission is to just somehow clear all the stages because once you clear all the stages, the whole restriction thing is no longer valid. You can use whatever shinobis you want to increase your score afterwards. So if you don't complete all the 3 stars, all the requirements in the first run, don't worry, you can complete it later with your best shinobis. Just focus on clearing all the stages as much as you can. Now for stage 1, you can use a mix of good shinobis because these shinobis you can use again for stage 5 which is also featuring yellow units. I prefer to clear Sam stages first because it gives me an idea of what shinobis I can use in fortress. Because if you clear Sam with the weakest unit, then you have other options for fortress battle. So for stage 1, yellow is the boosted unit so I am gonna go with Boruto warrior. I have his full kit. Just make sure he has good cards and tool and it's easy. Now since Boruto is now restricted for uh, fortress battle, I can use other normal shinobis for stage 1. So I am gonna go with this team. Not all of them are boosted but it will work because stage 1 to 4 are pretty easy as I said before. Now after clearing stage 1, all of these shinobis are gonna get restricted. But that's okay because we didn't use the best ones. Now for stage 2, follow the same process. So for stage 2, I am gonna go with Jiraiya because I only have his new ultimate. So after clearing Sam battle. Uh, with Jiraiya. Now I'm gonna go over Fortress Battle. You can again use a decent team with 2-3 to three boosted units and a healer or CP recovering shinobi. Now you have to follow the same process for stage 3 and stage 4 as you did in stage 1 and stage 2 with yellow units. Now you have to do the same with purple units for stage 3 and stage 4. Now whatever shinobis you have used in stage 1 and stage 3 will be now available for the hard stages of 5 and 6 and also including the ones you haven't used at all. So plan it accordingly so that you can play stage 5 and stage 6 SAM battle which is very tough and you have to use the best shinobis you have of the respective color. For stage 5 I am gonna use Shadow Sasuke and stage 6 I am gonna use Naruto Light. So you can use these in stage 1 and stage 3 SAM battles as well so that they will be available by the time you reach these hard stages. So you can just focus on using the best shinobis on stage 1 and stage 3 so that you can use them again in stage 5 and stage 6. So you see you have to plan what shinobis you are going to use in the later stages so that you don't end up with all the shinobis getting restricted. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Now coming on to the worst thing about all out mission is that if you don't have a lot of good shinobis basically if you are a new player you won't be having like every single unit of the say of the colors which are mentioned so it's very difficult for you to get ss or triple s rank and might be impossible for you to get this rank but that's the way it is in this game mode nothing you can do about it but if you have at least like five decent units of each boosted color then you are good to go stage 5 and stage 6 sam battles are particularly tough so make sure to save your best units for this uh, boosted unit with high level ult or a boosted unit with x ult are a good choice now uh, make sure your shinobi is at a good level before the aom boost so i think stage 6 and stage 5 you need a very high attack power and a good ultimate of the boosted color for sam battle especially now everything that I mentioned in this video will be helpful unless Bandai changes the pattern of all out mission. So if you made mistakes in this one, don't worry if you follow these steps then you can do better next time. And as for new players, just you have to just uh, do whatever you can the best by following these tips. It doesn't matter if you cannot get triple S or SS rank because if you are new then you probably won't be able to get it very easily because you don't have a lot of shinobis with you so just make sure to get as much as you can with the shinobis which you have now then next time when you have a lot of good shinobis you follow the same pattern again then you will be able to get SS or triple S rank in the next all out mission so I hope this video helped you guys if you have any question you can ask in comments or Better, the better thing to do would be to join my discord server the link will be in the description there are a lot of people who can help you and many people are there who are playing since the game started like me so yeah you can have a lot of options available to ask people link will be in the description of the youtube video and yeah i will see you next time sayonara